A modern culture is averse to waiting. We have quick drive-through meals, same-day shipping for our packages, Instacart for our groceries, on-demand movies at the fingertips. All of this has conditioned us to be a people who do not know how to wait. Just look at how sometimes you become frustrated when your wishes are not immediately granted, when your wish is my command is not the answer. But the theme of waiting is an important one in the Bible. Abraham waited for God's promise to to be fulfilled. The Israelites waited for four hundred years for salvation in Egypt, and then they had to wait forty more years. To go into the promised land, the Jewish people waited for the Messiah. Joseph and Mary waited for the birth of a special child. Our Lord Jesus waited thirty years to begin his ministry, and waited for the cross. His disciples waited after Jesus died to experience the resurrection. And、they had to wait again for the Spirit to come at the Pentecost. We as believers now are living in what theologians says the time of already but not yet. We have experienced salvation, but complete salvation is yet to happen. We are waiting for the second coming of our Lord. So the Bible is full of waiting. And biblical waiting teaches us some important lessons, but perhaps one of the most important lesson is that waiting teaches us that we are not in control; we are finite creatures, and that God is indeed God. Psalm one thirty verse six says, "My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning." The watchman recognized his smallness in the dark of night. He, no matter how brave or powerful, cannot make the morning come. So he waits in silence, trusting that the God of creation will bring light to dispel the darkness. What are you waiting for right now? Waiting for new employment? Waiting for a vaccine? Waiting for things to get back to normal. My encouragement to you is: don't be impatient. Let the waiting be a teaching lesson to form you, so that you will relinquish the desire for immediate gratification and the desire for control. Instead, let waiting form your character, so that you will begin. To have a deeper trust in God's ultimate control.